Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. Right. Hey, Matthias, how's it going? How's it going, man? Today I was thinking <clears throat> we should um, start a new character in the cyberpunk cyberpunk world. Um, So this was the um, the one I worked on yesterday. Um, I think I think I'll finish it finish it offline. Uh, it's not finished. Uh, it should be wrapped up in a style like um, like these, right? It's this guy is almost there, but I I want to tweak him a little bit more. Uh, this girl and this assassin guy. Uh, so today, I think we should start a new one. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna ask for um, occupation or like something you are. You know, like this guy that I drew last was a drug dealer, high-end drug dealer. Um, so today I'll be asking um, for for something you you, you can be. You know, like a construction worker or drug lord or school teacher. Preferably not school teacher because a cyberpunk school teacher might be a bit hard to do. But I'm up for a challenge. Anything goes. So, Matthias, if you want to throw down your suggestion already, that would be cool. I will roll a dice. So, top uh, suggestion one to six will it will be randomly picked, and then um, then I'll. Uh, Start the timer. So that's the that's the plan for today. While we wait for people to join in, uh, I'll wait for two minutes. Hey, Quentin, how's it going? Hey Lurib, how are you man? So I'll start a new character today. Uh and you'll start a new character, so please suggest um please suggest a thing you can be. You know, like a job title or like a something you know drug dealer or and I will randomly pick one of them and then I'll I'll do them I'll do it so we already got the tech guy tech guy from Math Matthias I'm good thanks I am good all good man Quentin it's a bit early I I, I had to reset the clock and it was showing the wrong time uh, all this time hence now it's on the right time So we got one option, which is tech guy, a prophet, or opium picker. That's pretty cool. A doctor. You can only do one. I mean, uh, whatever. If it, there's not an, uh, if there's other people, then of course you can only have one of them, Matthias. Hey, Derbard, how's it going? 
All right, so um, Atsuki, good morning. So I'm going to start a new character today. So please suggest a new thing you can do. And I'll, I'll roll the dice. Um, one second. I'm going to have to switch that off just to make sure I'm not showing anything that I should not be showing. Hey Red Clay, so I'm going to start a new character today. I'm going to finish the drug dealer offline um, because it's you know it's not fun to sit and look at me fiddling. Um, so new genre of things you can do. Give me your suggestions. If not, I'll roll the dice. I have I got some. I got the tech guy from Matthias, um, prophet slash opium picker. You can choose. Animal handler, and also Matthias suggested a doctor. Hey, Zelen. So we got four, three or four. Okay, I can't wait anymore, so I'll just roll the dice. And we'll see. Number five, a cleaner, then, if that's correct. Tech guy, opium. Doctor, animal handler, cleaner. All right. Oh, a hitman. All right, I can do a hitman. And a lovely construction work outside. Hopefully, it won't be too annoying for you guys. Uh, hopefully, you won't even hear it. But who knows? I am feeling the vibrations and hearing it quite loudly through the headphones, so we'll see. Um, okay, so an assassin, hitman. Um, let's do um, half heavy augmented hitman. Like, I'm going to sketch him up. Um, like this, this, um, hope. Holy shit, what they're, what are they doing? Yeah, dear bird. Congratulations, man. Hey, Eric Ricky. How's it going? So, a cleaner hitman. All right. Let's give him a, then a uniform. What the? What are they doing outside? Eric Ricky, yeah, um, uh, he's. Uh, Dearbard said a cleaner, aka Leon from the movie. Fuck, are they tearing down my home? What are they doing? Madness. Do you guys hear that? Those are super creepy. The Kraken, yeah, exactly. Some massive robotic Kraken outside just looking into my office. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, they're coming for me. Aliens. Um. 
<laughs> it's my last decide. <laughs> yeah, man. Count. Yeah, I'll try. Some crazy ass sounds outside, man. I must say, if I wouldn't know that it's construction work outside, I would think like the aliens are coming. Uh, Algani, uh, the hitman, Derbard. Derbard wrote, he's a cleaner, aka hitman. Um, and he said, if you can make him look like a cleaner, as a guy cleaning up the streets, bonus points. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I don't know if he, sh he should have a gun. I think he should have maybe like a syringe pop out from his arm that he can kill people with, like syringe them, and he can hold um, uh, you know, the one of those mechanical things that you use to uh, pick, pick, pick shit up from the floor Hey, the shoe thief, how's it going, man? Uh, and uh, of course he needs um, like a bag uh, to pick dirt up in. So I was thinking he uh, he has like a very robotic face. He has a human face, um, but then everything else is robotic. And he has like this part uh, human, but if he would do like that... Oh, Calm down, calm down. If he would do like this, <laughs> it would be robotics. Keep your pants on. Come on. It's family friendly. And then socks and some sort of sandals. Uh, and hint of a mechanical part of his leg. Okay, 23 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try my hand at um, line art. I want to give him like a non-human human face. Matthias, <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. You know, what would be cool, a cool idea for this character, uh, he could, you know, like um, Arya, is that her name in Game of Thrones? Uh, you know, the assassin, in, the skills in a Game of Thrones is that she can... Um, take someone else's face, right? And then and, uh, and act like someone else. Uh, spoilers. Um, <laughs> uh, this guy just swaps faces.
you know, like uh, what's it, what's what was it, what's it called? Tack on, is that is that how you say it? Tack on with the uh, studs. Hey, Tom Koo, how's it going? Welcome. So today we're doing a new new character. We're doing a cleaner. Uh, Dearbard won the the dice roll, so I'm doing a cleaner, um, aka Hitman, but at the same time also he's dressed as a cleaner. The faceless man, yeah, exactly. You don't want to see him without the face on, though. Or maybe you do, that's when he's like kicking back on the sofa. That's the only time. Like, if you ever want to meet him and not die, it would be without a face. Then it's like, whew, right, you're not working today. Uh, Tom Koo, no, I didn't. Um, what I said was, I'll, I'll finish it offline because, you know, it. It's the same with the golden ticket, right? The golden ticket illustration. It's uh, it's fun to to see, but not that interesting to um, see being developed when I have a half an hour for an illustration that requires hours. You know, the the amount of damage I can do in a painting. <laughs> um, in half an hour when you need hours into it uh, might not be like highly entertaining so I, I I'm I, I'm choosing to finish the the dealer offline but of course I will I will show show him when he's finished um, Kraken has returned. Eric, Eric, yeah, exactly. Especially when uh, I mean, it's I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with doing that if you if you stream for like the whole day, then you know that's cool. Then is that's a part of the process of you know seeing seeing me sitting and doing all the little details. Uh, but for a half an hour stream. You know, it might it might be a bit um, long-winded, you know, and especially when you're you're starting to get um, you're starting to get into it. Just at the very end of it, you gotta stop. You know, so it's not very. Uh, Not very, uh, probably, f fun to, to observe. I felt that a little bit yesterday, um, doing, drawing on him, you know, like me fiddling with the shadows and so on, you know, it's like, okay, it's, it's, it, it was a great opportunity to showcase the technique, but I think that, that would, that should be it. Uh, the rest is just time, you know. Hey Isra, how's it going? Welcome. Glad that you could make it. I'm trying to design on the fly here. Uh, I want to design something where where his the syringe comes out. I might have done it too large. It, feels a little bit overstated uh, but that's something I'll, I'll tweak later uh, but I was thinking I want to do something weird with his hand like he he has a bionic a robotic hand and it and it I wanted something to feel like off with a finger hence <laughs> me pulling the finger out of the socket there Because I want to show that he's not all like what it looks like, right? 
I, I'm an, I'm a bit unsure about the decision that I made, but uh, I gotta um, like I gotta roll with it. Because thirty minutes. Oh. No, that was a bad move. Probably better. Fucking Kraken is outside. Breathing into my office. Wanna eat me. Well, I'm glad that uh, you're res res resurrecting yourself, Isra. Glad to see you around. Much appreciated. Props. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think so. Um, uh, Algani, the construction and and uh, process is uh, a lot more entertaining than just like. The finishing ability of uh, of uh, something, something like this, or the drug dealer. It's all it's all interesting, but it's just interesting to a certain point, I think. Israel, yeah, thank you, thank you. It's definitely for me. It's also a lot more fun. It's great that they are uh, on YouTube, and great that people can catch them when uh, when when um, they are ready. <laughs> uh, but the interaction is is uh, one of the things I really really enjoy. Uh, you know, like hanging out together. Um, that's what I really appreciate it makes things a lot more entertaining and fun and uh, organic nice wobbly line there good stuff I'm not enjoying this construction. It becomes way too much motorcycle handle. It needs to feel more like a garden tool. It needs to come off more as a tool than anything else. So it needs it needs parts. That's better, more simple. Hey Tanner Curry, no, I, I won't be clicking on any links in especially not playing music on my warm ups. Hey, Chilstrand, how's it going, man? Uh, Tanner Curry, why would you want me to play a song? What's the song? Well, the thing is, like, you would, um, because of the syringe, right? 
And if it's done right, uh, you go, oh, it's a garden. It's like a garbage robot, and then wait. Oh, really, children? That's awesome. That's good fun. Uh, Matthias, I don't think the stick needs to look like a weapon. Uh, let me tell you why I don't think the weapon needs to look like... Uh, the stick needs to look like a weapon. Um, because you are over explaining the principle. Um, like you are, you are making the statement too far. And if everything looks like a weapon, he become, doesn't become a hitman. He doesn't become a hidden, a hidden agent, right? He, he just becomes a killer. He isn't a killer. He's a hitman. So he needs to be uh, s s sneaky. Uh, so if, if, he is, if, if he walks around with that looks like a chainsaw or a bazooka, uh, you know, the people will pick him out instantly and go, hey, hey wait a minute, that's not the uh, street sweeper or whatever, street cleaner. And the idea, obviously, he is robotic. H his face do say, you know, like, <laughs> I'm not human. But the idea, like, uh, let's say he has a cast shadow across like that. The idea is that picking him out that he's not human, when you see that, it's too late, you know. So what I'm doing now is just kind of trying to give him a kind of a uniform feel. Um, There needs to be some design in it, some design element, um, like um, you know, like a bold ge uh, geometric shape. You know, like all uh, all simple tool work, tool um, work workman uniforms. Some block shape, you know. Algani. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's um, let's make a new layer and kind of force it in there. Uh, I don't really remember what they look like, so I'm just gonna wing it um, and have the reflex bars like that. Uh, let's see, do it, and then like that, and like that. So, and then so, okay. Then we erase underneath. All right, all right, all right. It's a good idea, Algani. Cheers for that. Yeah, boy, ice cream. Why should I draw uh, a dead rapper? Especially when I don't listen to, to hip hop. I, I definitely a logo, something, maybe even like cleaner or, <laughs> or clean. I don't know. Something there. 
Um, and uh, something in the lines of like nurse, nurse shoes. You know, very simple. Um, but they need to be designed, obviously. At the moment, they're just, um, you know, they just come off as shoes. Um, right. Hey, yeah, boy, ice cream. Cheers. Thanks for the follow. Um, I think I need to push up the railroad time. Five minutes left. All right. Uh, I think we need to push up the um, <coughs> color a little bit. Uh, he definitely needs. Uh, I'm gonna make a new layer so I can erase underneath. Uh, so it's cleaner that way. I like a name tag. Okay, and then a simple uh, then a simple uh, block blocking select uh, modify contract. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, kind of works, kind of works. It's getting there, it's getting there. Let's see, four and a half, all right. I, I got some time to do uh, some basic colors, I think, just to help separate uh, what is what on the character. And uh, I want to give him um, lines in him. Um, that looks like um, he has more hidden parts, you know. And th those lines on, uh, for example, his uh, arms. And for those who missed it in the layers, I've uh, locked the layer to the uh, sing simple, sh uh, simple color blockout. So I can I don't need to worry about the uh, silhouette. It's locked. And to do that you you just hold down alt and click the space uh the space in between the layers and uh, it will lock to the layer underneath. All the information in that layer will be, uh, you can paint on. So if you do that and you can even take it like one step further, like set that layer that's underneath to multiply or overlay and you lock the layer above to that, to that overlay layer and you, you can get some really, uh, really funky results. So that's a recommendation you can experiment with today. See what you can come up with in terms of uh, locking layers together. And what's cool when you've done it like this, you can make another layer underneath and now I can paint uh, underneath um, the coat of uh, paint I've already put in. So I can uh, control it a lot more better. Like you can do layer on layer of uh, 
things we're over two minutes left oh shit oh shit oh shit faster faster that's not good there we go Okay, a warning, warning. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you. Warning green. Emergency green. That's kind of emergency green, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's very on point, I would say. Choosing that green, shooting from the hip, and making it very very uh, <laughs> emergency vest like I'm, I must say I'm patting myself a little bit on the shoulder GG Bjorn uh, alright we need a poison ampule let's make it blue so it stands out of the uh, warm palette and the, those colors can be the way they are um, the robotic parts. We need a color for the strap. So it's not the same as the robotic parts. And the same goes to the thing. Should that maybe be construction yellow? <laughs> Those are the technical terms, by the way, people. On the on the body of this uh, bag, I was thinking it's where he puts the, the uh, shit in. That he picks up this hatch, uh, falls out, and he puts the things in the hatch. So I want uh, like letter waste or something there uh, at some point to indicate. Uh, That it's for for rubbish. And now we can just merge those layers. We got the colors da -da -da down. He should have orange shoes. So we, they come across as not personal shoes. Should have a grip. Algani, yeah, the cast shadow is going to be uh, going to be very expressive and it's going to work. Children, he's a little bit uh, tangent city, um, but it, it'll it'll sort itself out when I do cleaner uh, cleaner lines. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a good point. I'm gonna take some time, Eriki Riki, um, to correct that. just to make you happy sir so you <coughs> shut up <laughs> there we go there we go there are you happy i'm happy I, I dig it. I think he turned out cool. I think uh, with uh, some shadows and stuff, he'll. Uh, I think it'll work out quite nice. Um, like I said, I want to have like uh, augmentation lines in his arm. 
you know, that, you know, that, like, something is off, right? Like, he shouldn't have those lines in there. Maybe he has some in the palm, or root back of the palm, back, back of the hand. Um, stuff like that. I think that I think that would be cool. <laughs> That's great, Eric. If you're happy, I'm happy, huh? All right. Let's have a look. Uh, who's uh, who's doing stuff? What's Dev Burmak doing? He's doing environments. That's pretty cool. Lemonagogo plays music. Be right back. Gla gamer, gamer. Ah. Fortnite. Um, mm, mm. Painting the best dinosaur. Not the second best. No, nothing. PUBG painting? <laughs> Is that a butthole? <laughs> good that is hilarious who's this uh, uh, that looks pretty cool there's me I'm famous mom mom look look I'm on TV what's this oh this looks pretty awesome how do you even I don't even know how to spell that. <laughs> I can't. I can't host that, I, even though I would love to. That 3D substance. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's raid the substance texture guy. That's the the future guys. Uh, substance painter. It's already in the future. Let's go uh, raid Shaggy. Shaggy D. This guy doing beard in substance painter uh see you guys tomorrow morning uh thank you all for hanging out it was a great day see you tomorrow